Chair now recognizes Mr. Webster of Florida. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I appreciate it for the opportunity. Um, along that lines, uh, the population of, of uh, great white whale, there is also an increase in the population of sharks. So, um, uh, Administrator Oliver, um, those, there is a movement that's been tracked and that's headed from the Massachusetts area down to Florida. And there are a lot of, um, of um, predators that are moving in uh, and prey on uh, uh, white whale calves, which uh, are in that area. And I'm just wondering if these sharks who are preying on these calves uh, is any concern uh, and is there anything being done about that, or is there anything we could do about that? Congressman, thank, thank you for the question. It, uh, it's a, that's a good question, one that uh, I don't know the answer to. Uh, it's an intriguing question because I know up in the North Pacific with the endangered stellar sea lion, we've had a lot of issues and questions with regard to the effects on that population of killer whale predation. And so I don't know offhand of any uh, documented evidence of right whale calves being taken by sharks, but I was at a South Atlantic Council meeting earlier this week and heard from a number of fishermen, they're seeing way more and way bigger sharks than ever to the fact that they're you know, taking fish off their lines on a routine basis. So given that, uh, you know, that there are more and bigger sharks apparently out there, I think you raise a good question. And I, I would probably want to uh, get back to my expert people and, and find out whether we have any documentation of shark predation. Well, there are several uh, proposals out there about, um, about sharks fishing and even the finning of sharks. And there's, one of the proposals is to just eliminate uh, um, any shark fishing and but wouldn't that just if that if this is true and there's a lot of documentation from NOAA about the migration of, of these um, predators down into the Florida area even into around to the Gulf uh, when to me uh, I had proposed an idea of, of trying to draw in the international fishing industry into Taking, taking our more uh, conser uh, conservation style uh, treatment of sharks and yet still not totally prohibiting the, the uh, fishing of, of sharks. And I'm just wondering if, if there is a, a correlation between that and the number and, and is it gonna change? And, and if these predators are coming to Florida, uh, there's going to be a, um, uh, and if their if their their prey is a uh, is a um, infant calf, then um, we're doing great harm to the white whale population. I believe. Would you see a correlation between those two? <clears throat> I, I, again, Mr. Congressman, I I, I would I would. I don't know that there's any correlation between the two. I would say that in cases where shark, particular shark species warrant protection, uh, we'll do our best to do that, but we also, uh, also support sustainable harvest of shark species where there's a, a sustainable harvest level to be had. Thank you very much. Yield back. The gentleman yield his final 40 seconds for a 